Hey, I don't know what this video is about. Hey y'all. Yeah, like I said, uh, I don't know what this video is going to be about. Uh, I haven't made nothing in the last week, so uh, I figured I just needed to make something and uh, put it out there for all my big fans, you know. My hawkers are out there. Uh, and I've been kind of, I don't know, the last week or so, uh, just uh, haven't been really coming up with any great ideas. Uh, if y'all think of anything, you know, leave a comment. I mean, I just, uh, I don't know. I've just been kind of in a down mood. Kind of got some personal junk going on. Just ain't really been into it too much. And I kind of got depressed when, uh, you know, I didn't get more subscribers before the uh, cutoff date. You know, I got demonetized. You know, that, that all kind of crap. You just kind of pissed me off. But, you know, it's, it's just what it is, so I just, I'll just keep going, you know, keep putting out the videos and, and uh, keep getting subscribers. You know, it's, it's ticking up slowly, you know, uh, Twitter's helping me out. I mean, you know, I'm getting, that's where I'm getting most of uh, subscribers, I think. And So, yeah, it just, uh, you know, I didn't really know what to make on this video, so bear with me. I'm going to try to come up with some stuff. Yeah, as far as the personal stuff I've got going on, I got a, I got a, uh, well, in a couple of weeks, I gotta go get some tests run. Uh, I may make a video on that later. Uh, hopefully, it's nothing serious, but you know, it's kind of got me worried. So, and there's been some other junk going on, uh, personal junk. So, uh, kind of got me kind of down. One thing I thought I'd do on this video is uh, I've been—that's one one thing I've been doing today. I've been kind of rearranging my my room where I, my, it's kind of my office, my computer, uh, I got, had it set up for, uh, video and stuff, and, uh, I kind of moved it around a little bit, uh, kind of give a different backdrop here, put one of my paintings, that's one of my paintings, and that, that's one thing I was going to show y'all, I just, now I thought I might show y'all some of the stuff I've just got in my house, uh, paintings I've, I've done, but, uh, I just changed my this back back here up a little bit. Didn't really like the way it was looking before. It, 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 I don't know the camera or whatever. It didn't what didn't look right on the backdrop I had. And uh, I had a green screen originally, and uh, I just don't do. I tried that a few times on some green screen, and, and uh, don't I don't know. Just not really into that. I'd rather just have something actually behind me or film in the woods or outside or whatever you know in my shop or whatever. And so. I'm gonna take you around my apartment and show y'all some of my paintings I've done over the years. But yeah, let me take you around and let me show you uh, just some of the paintings I've done. That's one I done. Uh, this is one I just did. The other, the last one I did, I actually made a video on it. I've just got it. It's just it's still been drying. Done. And I'm still waiting on it to finish drying. It usually takes about three or four weeks to dry. That's an oil painting. I'm going to see if I can reach up here and see this. This was a acrylic painting I did. I was just trying to try out some uh, acrylic. Uh, all, most of everything I do is oil. But uh, as you can see, my crappy room here. <laughs> I ain't got a lot of room in here, but uh, I got a lot of crap in here. So anyway, let's try this. That one there is my very first painting. I ever did. And this is a uh, one about uh, this, this was about my fourth painting maybe I ever did. It's uh, one of the bigger ones I've ever done.
these are some uh, charcoal drawings I did back when I was a teenager. So anyway, that's uh, that's my painting. So hope that was uh, lightning and lightning and uh, interesting. But uh, I don't really know what I want to talk about now, other than maybe a oh god, oh god, yes, who? <laughs> that wasn't really real. That's my old whoopee cushion. Yeah. this for a buck at the dollar store. One of the best bucks I can ever get. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, got this old deal a while back from Christmas. Uh, makes different sounds. Whatever. Whatever. It's got about uh, 20 different sounds. That's annoying. <laughs> so yeah, if you need a wonderful sound effect, he'll get you one of them. <laughs> Crap that, that amuses me, man. Don't take much to thrill me in my boring life. What else can I do for y'all? I got a harmonica that I can't play. I don't even know which way to go. That's about the extent of that. Uh, got a guitar I can't play. Uh, I got a cajon that I can kind of beat on. Uh, this is a really exciting video. I hope y'all enjoy this. What else can I talk about? Talk about crap in my life, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Pretty much boring. Uh, when I was a teenager, I was uh, extremely shy, I guess. Not very outgoing. Still kind of like that. I, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, not not too bad, but I still get. If I if I know I'm going to be in front of a bunch of people or around a bunch of people. I just would not be there, and so not really into that. And I guess that's still from when I was a kid. I mean, I'm pretty much outgoing. I, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I got a business, and so it kind of got me out of it when I first went. Uh, when I first uh, was in high school, I mean, I hated high school. I hated it, and uh, I just uh, didn't want to be there. And you know, had had some times I just didn't. Want I almost didn't even want to exist anymore. <laughs> Going through high school, pretty much just hated it. And, uh, but couldn't wait to just go out and get get a job and get to work. And uh, so I did. As soon as I turned 18, uh, went out and uh, got a job with my uncle. Uh, he was a builder and uh, was just a, a grunt, a gopher, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I did that. And a few months later, I. He let me go. He got slow, supposedly, and uh, I got a job at a, in an exterminate company. And uh, yeah, the very first job I tell people this, you know, because uh, what I was first started doing was termite work. And I, if some of y'all don't know what that is, you know, termites, subterranean termites are called. You know, get into your house and eat the wood. Whoops! I knocked my little machine off. Anyway, and uh, so the very first job, uh, I was with the the owner's brother. He did the termite work, and we took off going about 50 miles to a job. And uh, as we were going up there, I never drove a standard before. <laughs> and uh, uh, we was in a standard pickup, and he, we stopped on this busy highway, and he said, I want... Uh, Hey, can you drive? And I was like, uh, I don't know how to drive a standard. He goes, Well, time you learn. So we switched places right there in the middle of the highway 
at a red light and he gave me my first uh, introduction into driving a standard on the column. And uh, so I drove all the way up there about 50 miles uh, learning how to drive a standard. Uh, the first house we got to, it was a uh, above ground. Uh, they, were, they were farmers or and they had chickens everywhere from what I remember. And uh, the chickens would get up under the house. So up under the house there was chicken crap all under it and it was just covered with leaves and stuff. Of course, I'm just paranoid. I'm like, man, there's what's under here? You know, it's a rattlesnake, whatever, you know. Uh, I had no idea. <laughs> and we had to rake it out. And uh, you can't leave any wood material under there. And we have to treat it. But So first we had to get rakes and rake it out. And of course, you know, you got about four foot of rake and you're under a house. You don't know what you're raking. And uh, luckily I didn't see anything, but other than just spiders and garbage, crap like that. But so, uh, we got the, it all raked out, and uh, as we were treating it, you have to uh, dig around the piers, the, the, the concrete deals that hold the house up. And, uh, well, uh, you have to dig a little trench around it so the chemical will, when you spray the chemical in there, it'll puddle up basically around the piers or whatever. And uh, so we were doing that. Well, there's one spot in the house where the commode was kind of leaking from the from the drain and uh, it had been like that for look like for a long time and uh, and on the other side of it was a pier that had to be dug around and uh, and of course you only got about two and a half to three foot between the ground and your back so uh, he said you know this is my uh, learning experience here so I had to get over and dig that and I had to crawl through about a four foot wide uh, drainage ditch of, uh, of crap water and you know whatever else it was in there yeah I had to uh, you know I tried to I tried to span it as much as I could on my tippy toes and my hands but which wasn't too bad going across and I could dig it but coming back there was nowhere to put my hands to come back, so I had to basically just walk back with my hands through that muck, and uh, yeah, that was fun. And uh, but yeah, I did the exterminate, and I did that for a year and a half actually. Uh, uh, and I, 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 I seen some stuff doing that. And I mean, that was uh, some of the stuff you see in people's houses. Uh, started uh, after I did the termite work for a while. I started. I had my own route and uh, spraying for roaches and stuff. I st still did uh, termite work too, but inspections and stuff like that. But it got to be where I, you know, I, it was nothing to crawl up under house. I mean, there was a lot of houses that were you actually had to dig a hole to get under the house, and uh, I just dig a hole and go under there. And I was a lot smaller back then, you know, but. Uh, uh, so it wasn't too big a deal, but, uh, but yeah, there were some houses that were actually sitting on the ground and uh, you had to uh, to treat one where it could be uh, rid, rid off by the state or whatever. Uh, it had to have at least four inches of clearance between the, the wood and the ground. So there were some houses, I remember one house we went to, about half the house was sitting on the ground and uh, we actually had to dig it out. and. Uh, so basically we had little tiny shovels, little army type shovels, and uh, one of us would go in and we'd have to dig a hole to get under the house and we would start digging side to side as we're going through there. You know, you could, you could dig about a two and a half to three foot wide spot and you'd have to push the dirt out because your back was against the, uh, the floor and your stomach was on the ground. That's how close you were. And, uh, pitch black dark and the other person behind you was the person that was to pay, take the dirt out so as like say I was in front I'd be digging and pushing the dirt out like underneath me and using my feet to kind of push it out behind me that person would have to take the dirt by hand uh, or he'd put it on he might put it on like a board or something and try to drag it out as much as he could but I could usually dig a lot faster than they could take it out. So there would be a lot of times where uh, 
if they didn't take the dirt out, I was trapped in there because I couldn't back up because the dirt was behind me. But uh, and all you had was this, you know, little flashlight. And uh, but yeah, I used to, I did that, and uh, that house took us about two weeks to do. And so every day I did that, dig out of there. Now we take turns, you know, but uh, sometimes I'd be the one pulling dirt out. Sometimes I would switch around, but but uh, yeah, that was. Uh, Exciting, fun job. I actually liked that job a lot. I mean, it was a, uh, had a lot of fun doing it, you know. The guys were really fun and stuff, but uh, things just kind of went haywire with, actually with the owner, and uh, uh, I, wind up, I wind up quitting. And uh, actually went to work for another exterminator the next day, and uh, did that for a few months. And then after that, I went to work for in hydraulic repair, and uh, stayed in that for years. and. Uh, and actually went in to business for myself, and that's my working career, basically. You know, uh, as far as uh, that kind of stuff. But, uh, but yeah, there was a lot of good times. I mean, you got you got, when you're working for somebody. Uh, the hydraulic place I worked for, there was uh, two brothers there, and uh, uh, we had a, you know, we're all the same age. I actually went to school with them growing up, and. Uh, so they were actually guys I like, you know, through school, and uh, we uh, we 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 do some fun stuff, you know. I remember there was one time uh, we always talk about it when we get together. I still I still talk to them every once in a while, but uh, there was one time we was in this old building. And it was actually an old gas station, and the bathroom there was just a little single bathroom, and it set up kind of. Uh, he had kind of go up some steps to get to it. And uh, there was just a toilet sink in there. And uh, there was this one time where uh, I think it was close to lunchtime, or it was either lunchtime or quick time, I can't remember. But uh, uh, we, uh, I, I went in there first just wash my hands. And the, uh, the boss, we were always cutting up with each other. Anyway, he comes running in there, and, and we'd actually just got done with a customer. He, we thought he had left, he'd actually went out the door. I went in there to wash my hands. And then uh, the other guy come running in there, slams the door in there. And well, he starts, you know, we like, we we were stupid and young, and we started, you know, doing this, ooh baby, ooh baby kind of stuff. Well, I was washing my hands, and he started washing his hands, and, and uh, so uh, we go to open the door up, and I open the door up, and there's that guy standing there. He was waiting to get in. I think he, he needed to use the bathroom, so. Uh, and I seen the the owner's brother. He was standing there laughing, and uh, we didn't know what to do. So all we did was just pull the door to again, and we were inside there. I don't know for like a minute. We're like, uh, did we go on out? What do we do? You know, what do we? You know, what are we gonna do here? And uh, we we thought maybe if he maybe he'll just leave. You know, and uh, so we waited in there about a minute. We finally opened the door up. And that guy was still standing there. So we just basically walked right past him. And the other, the brother was like dying laughing, and I, I think that guy left, and I don't think he ever came back. <laughs> I don't know what he thought, but but uh, but it was kind of funny, you know. There was another time when uh, uh, we had his secretary, and uh, the the boss he didn't like her too much. Actually, none of us really liked her too much, and uh, she was kind of strange. But uh, hang on, sorry, my camera was about to run out there. Yeah, the, uh, the secretary, she was, uh, uh, nobody really liked her too much, you know, but uh, there was one time, he was always trying to think of a way to get rid of her, but but, uh, but there was one time, uh, I guess she had went to the bathroom, and the same bathroom, and uh, anyway, and apparently he went in there after, right after she did, and uh, he comes out, just comes out like two seconds later, he's like, she's gone, she's gone. And I was like, "What? What's what's going on?" And he goes, "She goes, she's gone." And I was like, "Why? What happened?" And he goes, "I went in there to take a piss." He goes, "And there is a tan turd floating in the toilet." I said, "What?" He goes, "A tan turd, a, fl- a tan turd floating in the toilet." And I was like, "Okay." And he goes, "He goes, yeah." He goes, "And there's no t- toilet paper in there." <laughs> and uh, he goes, "She's gone, man." And I'm like, "He was totally grossed out by that." <laughs> and. Uh, and I think a couple of days later she was gone, so yeah, that was a that was kind of a funny little deal there. But 
Like we were all, we were in their like mid twenties at that age, you know, yeah, somewhere around there. But uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's just some of the funny, a couple of funny stories that uh, I've had. This is just a rambling video. Uh, sorry if y'all don't like this, but uh, I didn't really know what else to come up with today. And uh, anyway, it's probably getting too long right now, so I'm gonna end this. And uh, y'all be sure and uh, uh, check out a lot of small YouTubers. If you're, if you're not, uh, if you're watching this and you're not a YouTuber, uh, be sure and check out you know small YouTubers because there's a lot of people on there that. Man, I, since this this demonetization crap that uh, YouTube did, uh, YouTube partner thing or whatever, uh, I, in one way it's been good, I think. But I mean, I, I mean in a way because I have found so many other small YouTubers that are in the same boat as me, and uh, just trying to either get subscribers or trying to get the hours, and uh, to uh, you know get be monetized again or whatever. And uh, so if y'all haven't you know, if you're, you know, don't watch, or you just go to like the big channels or whatever, try looking at some of these small YouTubers, and uh, you'd be surprised. I mean, there's a lot of them, <laughs> to my opinion, way better than the big ones. And uh, I, you know, it's, you know, it's just people luck up. You know, that's that's how a lot of this goes. You know, people luck up. It's kind of the luck of the draw thing. You know, who who's going to be a big YouTuber and who ain't. You know, you know, go check out some of the small. YouTubers and, and, and don't just just watch their videos hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell man and uh, comment it helps all that helps them rank up higher in the uh, YouTube uh, stats or analytics or whatever they go by you know all that stuff helps them helps your helps their videos get higher up to where they can be seen and and uh, more YouTubers uh, I mean other, other more people see it you know and, uh, it gets recommended it could be like one of your recommended videos stuff like that you know and the way they get that is by likes and, and uh, uh, the the views of course but uh, but the also the uh, comments all that stuff uh, you know helps that ranking and goes up you know so so when you go on there and a lot you know be sure and, you know hit the like hit the subscribe hit the you know hit the just comment you know say hey man video's good or hey man the video sucks whatever it is you know but uh uh you know I, i've been been watching youtube for a long pretty long time you know and uh, i don't know years but uh but ever since i've been doing youtube and uh and i don't know why what it is with people why they got to hit the unlike button or the you other know, the dislike button or put a crappy comment on there uh i mean there's videos that i don't like or you know, whatever and i either just don't just don't hit nothing, or I don't, and I always don't, you know, lose on. I, just, I may not subscribe to the channel, but uh, but I don't leave. I've never left a unlike, never, and I've never left a crappy comment ever on anybody's channel. I'm just like, what's the point of doing that? You know, I mean, I mean, it's one thing if you're going to just criticize uh, a little bit, like I mean, not criticize, but but give somebody like well, I guess constructive constructive advice, maybe. You know, like I had a lot of people do that on my that squirrel video that I've got, uh, squirrel uh, PZ, PVC pipe. You know, a lot of people hate just you know hate it. Really put some crappy comments out there, but, but a lot of them just use you know they want you to try different things. You know, and some of them are pretty odd, but some of them, and some of them are just like you know grease the pole, uh, uh, you know electrocute the squirrel, shoot the squirrels, you know all these kind of things. But some of them actually talk about. You know different things that I might could try to uh, either make for a funny video or or might uh, be better than than what I made. You know, and uh, uh, so I don't mind all that kind of stuff. But uh, but if you go on there and just hate, you know, like just come on there and just call me names or whatever, well, I, I just delete it. I don't go back. I don't comment back to them. I don't care because I know that's what they're trying to do is get a rise out of me. And uh, so I just unlike I just hide the video the can whatever they call it they call it hiding it or something you know i just basically delete it that that comment and uh and that's that's what i do and i mean i, I mean uh, so anyway so this is just a advi little advice to other people that are watching and i mean y'all might hate me for selling that taking this you know tell you but but uh but what's the point of going on there and hating people's videos i mean everybody's just trying to 
try, you know. I mean, most, most everybody are decent people. They're just trying to put something out there, you know, and, uh, you know, either either just for fun or maybe eventually want to make a buck off of it. Uh, whatever they're trying to do it for, you know, it's, it's no reason to just hate them and call them all kinds of vile shit. It really pisses me off when I see that crap, you know. But anyway, uh, so anyway, I'm going to end this crappy video I made. And uh, yeah, hopefully y'all like it. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to edit this thing and add a bunch of crap in and, in and out of this thing because it's way too long probably already. But but uh, if you like it, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. That little red thing on the bottom down there says subscribe. Hit that bell. And uh, just uh, keep supporting me. Support my other videos. Uh, you know, I got a lot of other videos you can go watch. You know, that maybe ain't quite as crappy as this one. But, but, uh, but if you like it, comment or whatever that you like this or whatever. Because I know this is just a rambling bunch of crap. But, uh, and I don't say crap about 20 times, I think. <laughs> anyway, I say crap a lot. I say crap a lot in my personal life. And uh, so crap, crap, crap. So anyway, anyway, y'all be good. And I'm going to end this thing. Y'all take care, whatever. I think I just said that. So we'll see you next time. Bye.